What we need to do is create alignment. And that's what the real conversation needs to be about. How do we actually create that alignment and authenticity in our lives? Well, we have to establish a foundation in it. And to establish a foundation, we have to actually review traits and values and belief systems. And we constantly need to reframe, reassess, and then reorganize what is important to us in every season of life, guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Art of Masculinity. Man, I was having a great conversation today actually with a good friend of mine, but also somebody I'm doing a coaching event with, if you guys are or coaching workshop with. If anybody's interested in that, we actually are having this kickoff next week as of this episode coming out. So June 24th will be the week that we kick off this four-week workshop for men. I'll dive a little bit into that later. But first, let's get to this episode because realistically, I want to show you guys or I want to talk to you guys about something that I think all men deal with as very typical on the show. I'm trying to address a lot of things that we deal with as men, but we do not talk about. And this has to do with misalignment. Okay, you guys have heard me talk about misalignment. But realistically, what what happens with misalignment is we're operating from a framework that we have not necessarily created ourselves. Now, this is if you've been listening to this podcast, this comment is not new to you. But what might be new to you is that when we're in misalignment, we tend to make bad choices or poor choices. And by bad and poor choices, I just mean that we're not making choices with our, you know, I hate this term, but our quote unquote highest self, right? That version of who we are when we feel our best. Let's say that, you know, instead of just highest self, that's so, so arbitrary and and overused. But that best version of ourselves when we feel completely alive, when we feel empowered, you know, you you all have that. You know what I'm talking about when I say that. If you close your eyes and you thought about a time when you just felt your most powerful, when you felt your most almost invincible, like everything was going well, you would blatantly uh, speak out that you're having an amazing day or an amazing week. Those times in your lives when you're kind of impenetrable, that's that version of you that we consider our highest selves, okay? So relate yourself to that emotion. Relate yourself to that version of who you are. Go back to that moment in time. When you're at that place, you're not making poor decisions. You're making super high vibrational decisions because you're in a space of positive energy, right? You're in a space of positivity in general, and you're connected with your authenticity. You're making decisions based on confidence because you know exactly how you're going to perform or exactly the result that you desire and you're going to achieve that because you feel great, okay? So that's what we're talking about. When you're making poor decisions, you are not in sync with that alignment. So what most of us are doing is either infrequently dipping into that positive area, that that best version of ourselves, we're infrequently doing that because in a, in a moment, we're finding a rush of good decisions. And then we have this aligned, authentic connection with who we are, but we have no baseline for it. We have no real reference point of how we got there. So then what happens is we go and resort back to our misalignment because our misalignment is most of what we've lived with. It's our comfort zone. It's our known commodity. And so what happens to us when we start to go down this path of bad choices and poor judgment and poor decisions that just don't lead to the outcomes we want in our lives. Well, we know that place so well because the misalignment there was established long before we consciously were going to create this. And create this, I mean, create... um that alignment of traits and values and belief systems on who we are and how we interact with this world. 
So when we are struggling to then find our way back to alignment, it's because of the fact that we have no actual step. We have no pathway to get to that alignment because we have no reference point for the alignment. The alignment was sporadic. It just basically flew out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, we absorbed it. We ran with it for a second. Then we lost it. It's kind of like fumbling a football on the field, right? I'm a big Bills fan, so it's basically like watching James Cook run the fo- football. I mean, every time he runs it, I'm nervous he's going to fumble because that guy fumbles more than anybody else. But just imagine you're James Cook, this like 170-pound running back getting blasted by these other massive human beings, and the ball just pops out all the time, right? <laughs> Sorry for all my Bills fans. I've been a Bills fan my whole life. I feel like I have the authority to say this. Um, but nevertheless, my point being is that we are fumbling that authenticity and alignment all the time because we haven't actually calibrated it. We don't have a reference point. We don't have a path. And so misalignment is actually more of our reference point. So if we think about this, we're living that life of misalignment. It's easy to resort back to it. So when we say we ebb and flow in this and it's easier for us to like not sustain momentum, well, it's because that momentum for alignment is is, we, we don't have an established foundation of alignment. So the momentum always, 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 always has to stop. Because at some point, when you're not feeling your best, when life isn't going well, when you do get taken off the rails, your reference point, your ability to attach to a a framework is your misaligned framework. So what we need to do is create alignment. And that's what the real conversation needs to be about. How do we actually create that alignment and authenticity in our lives? Well, we have to establish a foundation in it. And to establish a foundation, we have to actually review traits and values and belief systems. And we constantly need to reframe, reassess, and then reorganize what is important to us in every season of life, guys. This isn't a finite picture. This isn't a a, a sealed vault. Like You don't just choose it and then all of a sudden, like there's nothing else that happens within your life that you have one trajectory and one set that you get to keep your whole life. Who I was as a ranger is not necessarily the same principles and values, traits, and beliefs that I carry now in my life. And who I was before becoming a ranger was not the same as when I became a ranger. And then who I was when I did protection after being a ranger is not necessarily the same as what it was when I was a ranger, or who I am now. We have to constantly reassess these things so we can find out who we are in every season. We evolve. We are human beings and we are 50 trillion cells combined into one organized cognitive being, right? We are evolving constantly. There are things that are priorities constantly that shift in our lives, which is part of that different environment and what we refer to as seasons in which we are evolving. So all of that being said, if we are not actually taking stock in evaluating these things and reframing them and reassessing them, then we're not in alignment. We feel dysfunctional. We feel that we aren't able to actually meet that area. Sometimes it feels like just something's a little off with us and we don't know what it is. And it's because maybe our alignment has changed. Maybe we haven't really assessed all of this information and in, in, in a recent time. And all of a sudden, we're just not feeling connected with the past version or path, past authenticity of, of who we believed we were or alignment of who we believed we wanted to be. So at this point, we have to go back and reevaluate. Now, if you've never done this, one, you've been living in misalignment for a long time. And that's not a condemnation. That is a challenge, but it's also a reality. You can say that you value the same things, but I guarantee you five years ago, your priorities were very different than your priorities now. And therefore, you you inherently can't be the same in, in your alignment. Things have shifted in your life, right? And so... 
what we need to do is first understand how to create this base foundation of alignment. From there, we have to understand that process in which we created the base foundation so we can consistently evaluate as we move forward and process in our lives. So all of that being said, every season or multiple times within a season, we're constantly coming to this point where we're re re-establishing our foundation or at least re-evaluating that foundation of who we are and how we want to show up in this world and how we prioritize the values and traits that we exude in our lives as men. This is the pinnacle of what evolving as a masculine man is. Okay. This doesn't mean that every trait is going to change. You may carry certain traits throughout your life that they, they do remain constant, but what's built around those could be very different from season to season. And so for me, one of the things that I've carried my whole life is that the ideal of being a protector. That is something that I have valued as a child. I was raised that way. And it's something that I actually have reassessed and constantly reviewed and held as a value in my life since I was a kid. That's just one, right? And so for me, it's important to have that whatever that means to me, whatever that protector looks like internally to me, I need to meet that standard every season of my life as part of me feeling aligned as a man in in everything that I do. It's just one of the things, right? There's multiple ones that I have. But one of the newer ones that came into my life, probably I would say within the last like... 10 years? No, maybe the last, let's see, when did I, I left protection 2013. So I would say that within the last, yeah, 10 years, I started to really highly value intelligence and intellect, right? I kind of, they're not the same, but they are, they have similarities. So intelligence and intellect are two things that I really brought into my version of the man that I want to be in as I show up. And what did I have to do to incorporate that? That took a lot of work. That took a lot of reading and it still takes a lot of reading. It takes a lot of refinement. It takes a lot of critical assessment. It takes a lot of objectivity because somebody who is intelligent cannot be so myopic that they're wrapped around one subjective frame of mind. They have to be willing to challenge challenge their own mindsets. And in challenging their own mindsets, they have to get more educated. They have to constantly build that database so they can challenge it appropriately and also be objective in the moment and say, oh, well, maybe that point of view does actually make sense because now I have a frame of reference of intelligence that I can bring into this to really have this conversation internally. That is all something I've brought into my life far more recently that I did not value necessarily as a man or to be a strong masculine man in the world. But today, that is something that I hold dearly to who I am and how I interact as a man. And if I am in misalignment with that, I feel it, guys. I absolutely feel off if I am not training my mind and learning new things constantly to continue to meet that high level of intelligence and intellect that I feel I need to carry. These are just two different examples of something that has been sustained through my whole life and something that is relatively new. I've also had newer things within the last year and couple years that I've brought into my framework of building. But I wouldn't be able to do that if I'm not constantly reassessing what it is that I want to carry as a man and potentially what needs to be thrown out. Certain things that don't necessarily, I that I don't believe necessarily need to be in, in my portfolio, I don't need to keep that in my pocket. That becomes something that I release. And while I still may have components of it because it was valuable at some point in my life, it's no longer a priority that I have to put into my value system or traits in which I believe that I need to carry as an alignment piece. So when I'm aligned with all of these things, I start to make better decisions. I have 
higher levels of consistency of wins. And I also feel far better on a more regular basis and confidence skyrockets when I'm in alignment. When I'm misaligned, I'm off. I go back to bad uh, habits, things that don't serve me super well. Um, uh, An example of that for me is like if I watch TV during the week at nighttime, or if I'm not like, (laughs) this is going to be really funny, guys, but reading on the toilet, my good friend Philip Folsom uh, passed this off. And I think it's a very, very good habit stacking thing to do is when you're going to the restroom, read a book, right? Have one in all your restrooms and read your book. And so when I'm not doing that and I'm bringing my phone in and reading nonsense articles like something about sports, which while I love sports, brings no value to my life or intellect, that is a negative habit where then what subsequently follows that are other habits that are predetermined by that habit. So then all of a sudden, those habits or those decisions start to be less powerful and progressing me on the direction that I want to be. So for instance, it could be something like, okay, I'm not reading on the toilet, so I'm not habit stacking. And therefore, when I go to eat dinner, I'm not actually making a healthy dinner that night. Instead, I'm going to do something with maybe processed carbs, right? Which isn't something that I normally do in the evenings. I don't eat processed carbs at night. But if I know if I'm eating processed carbs at night, I probably somewhere in my day was misaligned. And that is, that are the, those are key indicators. I wouldn't have those key indicators if it weren't for the fact that I am reassessing and challenging myself on a frequent basis to ensure what I'm aligned with is still aligned with who I want to be. And then it, am I actually aligning to those values and traits every single day? So these are the questions that you get to ask yourself. And if you're ready to take this on and you want the support to do that, then the four-week workshop that we're doing, Step Into the Man That You Want to Become. If you listen to this podcast, we did a four-part series. We're actually doing a four-week work, workshop on that. And it's going to teach you the actual tools. We're going to give you the how-tos for everything that we went behind on the show and more. We're going to teach you guys how to start this process. And we're actually going to walk through it with you guys so you know exactly how to do it. And every new season of your life that shows up, you'll be able to pull this tool out and you'll be able to go ahead and review yourself. The other thing you'll be able to do if you do decide to take this course is actually be able to constantly reframe. So when you are misaligned, you'll be like, oh, Am I still aligned with the values that I selected? And if I am still aligned, what am I doing that's taking me off of that alignment? Now, what does that give us? Calibration. We know how to calibrate back to the true north. And the true north is where we are, again, that best version of ourselves. Okay, so if you're ready to take this on, click the link in in the show notes or head over to johnnylsasser.com and you can go ahead and click on the workshop. Sign up today, guys. This is a four-week obligation. That is it. It will change your life drastically. I promise you. What we are going to deliver is a high level of content, a high level of work, and we are going to walk through it personally with you guys. Frank and myself will be doing this. And that is the promise that we have for you guys. And we absolutely promise it will change how you see yourself moving forward. And we'll give you a massive tool in your toolbox that will help you be far more successful in the future of being an aligned version of yourself and achieving all the goals that you have in your life. So if you're ready to take this on, click the link either in the show notes or head over to johnnylsasser.com and click on the course, the workshop and sign up today. We kick off the week of June 24th, which is next week. And we want you guys to be there. So take this challenge on, change your life moving forward and become part of the four-week workshop for men stepping into the men that you want to become. All right, guys, as always, the world deserves a better caliber of man and it is our obligation to give it to him. 